In this video, I'm gonna be doing a debrief on DEF CON 28, what you need to know about it, how you can get more information on resources from it, and my general thoughts overall, coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber, a YouTube channel designed to help you make and take your cybersecurity career further, faster. Special thanks to our sponsor, Coastal Information Security Group. And if you like this video, consider checking out the other videos on the channel because it's all about cybersecurity. And if you really like the video, hit a thumbs up. And if you love the content, hit subscribe, bell for notifications, comments below. You know the routine. Um, you know, I love making this content, videos every Monday. Now, uh, stay tuned to the end. I'm going to be talking about DEF CON 28, but stay tuned to the end because I have a one cool thing segment that I want to share with you. Okay? So, DEF CON 28, it's still going on. You can see right back here, I've got it on the telly. Uh, but DEF CON 28 is the 28th uh, year of DEF CON. DEF CON is a uh, pretty famous, well-known hacker cybersecurity conference. It's held in Vegas normally every year, and it's been going on, I guess, since 1992, right? It's always paired with Black Hat, which is the more corporate, uh, very expensive, um, cybersecurity professional conference. It's at the back half of the week, um, and a lot of people go to both. Uh, but, but the point is, because of COVID, um, instead of canceling DEF CON, thank goodness that the organizers didn't, um, they went virtual, much like all the other conferences. And it was a massive undertaking because DEF CON, uh, just real briefly on DEF CON, DEF CON is a massive conference. It's got multiple speaking tracks, right? So speakers, uh, talking on, you know, whatever. Maybe the, maybe the track has a specific um, theme like defense or offense or whatever. Um, but there's that. And then there's villages, which are hyper-focused central um, mini conferences effectively within DEF CON. And those villages oftentimes have their own tracks, uh, speaking tracks. They have their own events going on. And it's really... Um, it's like a micro conference within it. Now, I always, uh, I've been going to DEF CON maybe seven or eight years now, and I always walk around, I go to the different talks. I might walk through a village just to kind of see what's going on. A lot of people go to the key pick, um, lock picking village, pick a few locks, move on, right? So this year, um, I was researching my bug bounty uh, video, and it just happened to coincide with, with Black Hat, um, or DEF CON, excuse me. And by the way, check out, check out wherever it is. Check out the, the video uh, on my bug bounty because uh, I just did that. Super excited about that. But as I was doing the research, um, you know, bug bounties are kind of a red team uh, offensive type technique. So I was really drawn towards the red team village this year just to check it out. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, people. I spent like almost all of my time short of um, spending time on a, a, a capture the flag event in the biohacking village. I spent all of my time uh, in the red team village and I'm not even a red teamer professionally. I don't do that for a living. Uh, but the community was super inclusive. The content was tightly packed, well organized. Now, all the videos uh, were pre-recorded. Now there was a discord server running in parallel just for the red team village. And there was a main talks um, channel going on. And the idea was that like, you know, at, at four o'clock, uh, John Helmus is giving his talk on getting into red team and professionally as a cybersecurity career. Uh, so at four, you know, you could have watched that video before, but everybody's like going to turn it on at four and start watching John and John will be in the, uh, the, the, the main talk chat window actively responding. So this is a great idea, right? So you're watching the talk and maybe you have a question. You can ask and the speaker doesn't have to stop, address your question, return to the talk. Just keeps on talking and he is actively engaging with people uh, in, the, in, the, in the conference. Now, I, I spent so much time in there. The Discord channel, there was no toxicity in there. Uh, no, nobody was like, oh, I'm better than you, or what a stupid question, noob. Like, none of that. It was like super, super um, supportive and, and inclusive. And there was free trainings, right? So Jason Haddix did a training. Um, there were a couple other ones that were, you know, worth checking out. Uh, hopefully they republish them because even though it was live, it was on YouTube streaming. So I'm assuming that it was captured. Uh, but the trainings were free. Trainings were awesome. Um, like I mentioned, the Discord server was highly engaged. Now, 
as far as a virtual format goes, uh, a lot of people, um, I, I took a poll on this, and so a lot of people do prefer the in-person format because it's, you'll hear people refer to it as hacker summer camp because there's people, and myself included, there's people that I only see at Vegas Black Hat DEF CON. Like I don't engage, like for what it's worth, I, I hardly engage with them throughout the year, but when I'm there, we always get together. We always do some activity together, whether it's like, you know, we're gonna spend all day Friday going to the talks together, or we're gonna get di like a, a different group of people I get dinner with on Thursday night. Like it, it's something to look forward to. It's something that is, it's, it's just good. And that doesn't happen this year because it's virtual, right? So I understand that. But like, I think the pros far outweigh the cons. Case in point, one, DEF CON, is free okay so it's free this year normally it's a couple hundred bucks so it's not like pricing people out but it's not the price of the ticket that's the pain in the back defcon is in vegas vegas hotels are not cheap right eating in vegas is definitely not cheap flying to vegas is not cheap like i take it for granted because i live in the united states right like i live on the east coast and flying to vegas oh it's like a four-hour flight or whatever three-hour flight like what a pain but like what if you live in Cameroon or if you're living in Sweden or if you live in the Middle East? Like that's like a you know, 17 hour flight, probably wicked expensive. Like it's not accessible. What about um you know, we're trying to we're trying to encourage people who are younger in the in the in the air in the world or whatever in society to get more involved in cybersecurity. We need more people in cybersecurity and we got to target them younger, right? So how is a 14 year old going to like even if they had money, how's a fourteen-year-old gonna fly to Vegas, and, and like and and spend time in Vegas in a hotel and, and like not know anyone? It's like that's a terrible uh, idea, right? I mean, it, it has potential for problems. So by doing it this way, you know, more way more people can be included. You can watch it, rewatch it on your own time. Um, there's a lot of engagement. By the way, the food, the way you can sleep, you can shower. Um, like if you don't know like you would never know unless you went to DEF CON, but like you have to walk everywhere and like you put so many miles on because Vegas, even though it looks small, is like wicked big. So yeah, it, you, you, your feet hurt by the end of the week. Uh, my feet feel fine right now, right? So uh, there is a lot of pros um, to it. So I, I did uh, capture the flag in the biohacking village. That was like super well uh, organized and executed. Um, I had a wonderful time. I can't think of one negative thing short of the networking and camaraderie um, and the random you know funny stories and stuff like that that was missing from this year's DEF CON so I hope in future DEF CONs that they have some type of online component or there's like live streaming going on while the talks are actually happening I, I know that they pump the videos into the hotels uh, there in Vegas so there is a live stream capability it's just always been contained to the hotels um, so I don't know. Anyways, um, I thought it was I thought it was really good, and I really enjoyed it. So be sure to check out um, the different talks if you can. They're they're all published on YouTube. Um, you can go to redteamvillage.io. I'll put a I'll put a link in in a picture right here so you can check it out. If you're interested in the red team, I didn't spend any other time in the other villages. Um, I know the privacy village is always pretty good. Uh, really, there's so many villages too. So. Uh, check check out the list of villages because there might be one that really speaks to you. As I mentioned, there's biohacking, there's automotive, there is aviation, so like airline industry, um, there's lock picking, Blue Team Village is its own you know beast, and uh, OpenSock.io typically runs like a contest in there and stuff like that. So like there is so much to do. Uh, a few days isn't enough, and I didn't uh, I didn't go to any talks this year, which is the first time. Uh, well, I didn't go to any main con talks. I only went to Red Team Village talks, uh, but I had a great DEF CON experience. So I encourage you to check it out and uh, you know see, see how it works for you. So my one cool thing this week is cybersecurity focus, as you can imagine. Uh, and it's basically a talk. I think it's about 45 minutes long. Uh, given my, uh, a, a friend of mine who I've never met in person, but we, we've both been contributing to the GitHub free repo resources. We've engaged online quite a bit. Um, Eperv, I hope I said that right. Uh, his talk on the, um, on dark web, he's a student, he's a master's student, um, at Georgia Tech and 
he works in cybersecurity and he studies cybersecurity and he did this talk right here on the dark web and it's like i found it to be like a really interesting nicely laid primer i might even do a a, a video on what the dark web is um, that kind of incorporates some of the things that he presented there but but check out this video it's it's interesting uh, because there's a lot of myths and misconceptions about the dark web that he definitely um, kind of lays out, exposes, uh, sets the you know sets the table straight or whatever you want to say, uh, and lays it out. So it's a great video and worth your time. So that's my one cool thing this week. All right. So until next time, take a minute, hit thumbs up if you like the video, uh, sub if you're not a subscriber, uh, leave a comment below on what your thoughts and feelings were about DEFCON, and uh, Let's go with it. So until next time, stay secure.